Assalamu alaikum to everyone watching us tonight. Uh, another, uh, another, you know, another Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan Mubarak to everyone watching us tonight. To the crew behind the camera, to the guys in the control room, um, I would like to thank everyone for making LNT, hashtag LNT, shall I say, possible and for bringing Ahmed Ali live to you guys from the holy city of Karbala. Um, but tonight, we have a very special episode that's uh, everyone watching us tonight, you can relate to it, everyone. Every single individual can relate to tonight's topic. But, without further ado, I would like to introduce you tonight to what's trending. So let's go and do that. Once again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, tonight, for all those who uh, love the American muscle cars, uh, you gotta listen to this. Uh, now. How does it, or can you imagine yourself driving a brand new 1987 Buick Grand National? See, you know, American muscle cars are nice even when they're used, but buying a 49 mile car in Iraq, they say zero, makfule, absolutely brand new, brand new car. Um, even even the plastic wrapping um, is still in the car. Like no one has driven that car 49 miles. It's brand new. When I say brand new, uh, and it's from the factory. It's not like a, 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 a rebuilt model from the factory, like that. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Now um, it's 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 on sale. It's on bid for on on, on eBay. Um, up to now, it's seventy thousand dollars bid right now. Um, if I had the money. Uh, I would buy an Escalade, but if I had the extra money, I would buy that. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, so hopefully whoever uh, gets the car um, is, is happy with it. Now, what else is trending? Now, um, so every Ramadan and every summer, the local government of Karbala increases the electricity outages. Basically saying Ramadan Kareem to everyone living in Karbala. You know, because honestly, um, the, the, there, there are a lot of things that are going on in Iraq, but electricity is a must. I mean, citizens simply can't put up with it anymore. So what did they do today? Well, today, the streets of Karbala were jammed. As I was getting to the channel, um, I, I ran into this. Check this out. Yeah, so they're, uh, <laughs> they're not having a party, just to let you know. Uh, it's not a party. Uh, they're actually protesting uh, against the local, not against the local government, but you know, to, to, to ask for the rights uh, for, a, a, for the electricity. Sim simple, uh, simple request. Uh, and and uh, yeah, so they're saying, hey, hey, jibul kahraba, hey, hey, whatever they're saying, uh, bring the electricity back. Um, so it's, 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 it's crazy. Now, uh, yesterday we were talking about Pakistan, how the uh, heat was 44 degrees Celsius. Um, and uh, today in Iraq, it reached 45 degrees. Uh, and uh, people are fasting with no electricity. Uh, so this goes out to uh, whoever is watching, if, if they're watching on the government. Um, it just goes out to you guys. Come on, man. The people need to fast properly. And subhanAllah, no one died. You know, from the heat or or, or from uh, uh, from uh, the, the from fasting. So um, we just need to you know end this. That's it. Give electricity back to the to, to the people. Anyways, um, that's it for what's trending. Let's go check out what today's topic is all about. So as we all know, not every country is equal in terms of economic wealth, economic power, and technological development and advancement. I mean, everyone knows there are rich countries with rich technological advancements, and there are poor countries with no ability, or they don't even know to use a computer. So you have that kind of scale. Now, every year, millions of people make difficult and risky decisions 
to leave their home countries for a new country, for a new nation. Now, motivations for leaving vary. Some leave for work, some leave for study opportunities. Some people leave to be united with their families, and some people leave just to explore the world, just to check out what's going on around the world. Now, let's not forget, the asylum seekers also, so asylum seekers, sorry, the asylum seekers also um, have it hard. They, they, they're, they're, they're getting it rough. Why? Because every day they're trying to find peace and happiness and tranquility, you know. It, leaving their house every day thinking that a bomb might go off or a terrorist attack uh, that they might face, it's difficult for them. However, the solution to all of this is immigration. Now, immigration is a huge global issue in today's world. If you look at the numbers, from 19, from one, 191 million um, up to uh, the estimated uh, to be in the world right now, and that number doubled since uh, the, the, the last 50 years. Now, there are multiple benefits of immigrating to another country. Um, we'll get to talk about them later on in the show, but at the same time, you're leaving your country, you're leaving your culture, and most importantly, in many cases, you're leaving your families behind. Now. Later on in the show, we'll get to find out whether or not, and this is your question for tonight, what do you think about immigration? In three, two, mashallah, very quick today. What do you think of immigration? This is your question for tonight. What do you guys think of immigration? I'm trying to find out what you guys think. So how are you going to let me know? You guys uh, can dial open. What's that? First, dial the number shown right now, plus 964-774-067-1836. Or you can go, uh, so you can call, send us a voice message, text message, a video, um, all that good stuff. You can also go live on Facebook. We are live on Facebook at Imam Hussein 3 tv or at lnt.show. Um, your participation will be uh, written down. Everyone that participates, your names will be written down on a uh, slit and we'll get the bowl uh, right now um, so we can show you guys where your names will be placed um, in three two one a a Hassan Allah the cameraman all right thank you very much I'm not gonna ask him because yesterday he gave me a, a random reply uh, but um, yeah so your names will be written down on this slip this sticky note right here and placed in this fishbowl right here so you can get a chance any participant call text message audio message comment on facebook uh, that's it um, your names will be written on this place in this fishbowl for your chance to win a free ziyara free trip to karbala and to meet the crew of hashtag lnt and trust me everybody is wanting to do that anyways let's go take a very short break we'll be back very short Welcome back, dear viewers. Once again, we do remind everyone that we are live from the holy city of Karbala. And tonight, um, we are talking about or asking the question, what do you think about immigration? So your chance to let us know, because I'm trying to find out what you guys think about immigration. Because um, uh, trust me when I say, 99% of those watching us right now are immigrants. Everyone watching us right now, unless you're in your home country, but you know, from people in the West watching us, you're immigrants. So why not tell us why do you migrate? Uh, migrate, um, and uh, do you think it's good or do you think it's bad? What are the benefits of migrating, and what are the disadvantages of migrating? So that's your question for tonight. Now, immigration, as any new addition to a country, has its positives and has its negatives on both the recipient country, the country that people are trying to migrate to, and of course on the original country as well. Because as we can see right now, uh, especially in countries like Syria, Iraq, and other countries, when people immigrate or migrate from that country to another developed country, um, a lot of doctors are uh, migrating, a lot of uh, dentists, uh, a lot of engineers. Um, so the 
the best quality of individuals within a country tend to migrate. Also, another uh, another um, uh, segment, if you will, of the country that migrate are those who, you know, have it hard. That, that, that they're not getting what they actually need uh, from that country. Now, the recipient country uh, is usually an industrialized country in Western Europe or in North America, where people seek and wish. And now, a lot of people who are just wishing, who are yearning, if you will, just to go and visit uh, another European or a, a North American country or any country um, that, that, that's in the West. And a lot of people, when they do migrate, they bring benefits as well, such as the following. Now, immigrants will often do jobs that people in host countries will not do. And this is actually seen because a lot of, a lot of the times when an immigrant reaches the country, He's not well off. He's trying to find any job that can get him money. So basically, he needs that pay. He needs that dough to make him grow as an individual and grow um, in his career-wise. But um, we have a call from Hamid from Canada. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Hashtag LNC. And tonight's question, what do you think of immigration? Ahmed and I am originally from Qatar but I migrated to Canada and I'm living here as an immigrating. Mm -hmm. Working working as a video editor mm, nice. in a media company. Nice. I think that immigration is very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, I encourage people to to other country to learn to learn a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, in, in 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 terms of what? Oh, okay. So he's saying um, he encourages others to visit other. That's why he thinks immigration is good to for people to go visit other countries and see what other countries have to offer. Thank you very much, Hamid from Canada, for joining us tonight. Your name, inshallah, will be written here. Thank you very much. This pen is not writing. All right. Oh, no, it is. Hamid, Canada. All right. So there you go. Hamid from Canada going into the bowl right now. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight. Oh, you're still on the call. All right. All right. Now, um, as Hamid was telling us that um, he thinks that um, migrating is beneficial and uh, that's his opinion, that's great uh, for, for letting us know. Now, we were continuing off with the benefits of, of migrating um, and uh, how various um, individuals can migrate to a country to actually benefit. Now, another benefit of, of migrating is that workers often work long hours, longer than those who actually are the citizens of that country, um, which is sometimes controversial, uh, but you know it, ho it, it benefits the host country. The third benefit is that immigrants contribute to the diversity of that host country, uh, to the society of that country, making it globally known and at the same time appreciated. And that's very important as well, because when you think of the West, or especially Canada, America, and the UK, they're thought to be a, a, a melting pot of different nationalities, different races, um, different ethnic groups. Uh, that's why a, a lot of Western countries are respected uh, for hosting immigrants and for bringing immigrants uh, to those countries. Um, as we can see in that picture right there, um, uh, people from all over the world um, gathered together um, you have Brazil, uh, Japan, Mexico, Denmark, USA, um, India, Iran, uh, that's South Africa, Germany, everyone coming together, Italy, everyone coming together um, just to live a peaceful life. But a, another one, another benefit is that it's it, the, the economy of the country uh, and how the immigrants also contribute to that 
it increases the talent pool. If they have, and of course, if they're well educated, you know, it, it benefits a lot to that country. If a doctor Im migrates, that's that, that's a good thing. If a, if, if a, an engineer, if a dentist, uh, if if if, a, if an astronaut, or, or you know, or, or a, a, bio, a, a chemist, uh, or a, you know, any anyone that, that that migrates with education, or he is well educated, to that host country, then um, the economic status of that country increases uh, so but we'll take a very short break and we'll be back very short so do stay tuned all right so welcome back everyone so we do remind everyone for um or to call and join us tonight in tonight's live show from the holy city of karbala the uh, drop you of uh, Hadrat Abbas, may peace and blessings uh, be upon him. Uh, but the cameraman is just waiting there to get me water. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Habibi, thank you very much. We are getting uh, a few Facebook comments on Facebook right now. Um, so we'll uh, get to read them. Um, but please tell us your opinion because I'm, I'm, I'm getting a few notifications uh, of saying Salam Ya Hussein, Salam Ya Abbas. I respect that a lot, but this show is not for that. Uh, at 10.30, so a few hours ago, was welcome to Karbala. That's where you can tune in and, and uh, send those uh, comments or comment on that. But tonight, we're trying to find out what your opinion is on tonight's topic. What do you think about immigration? Um, so that's what we need to find out for tonight from you guys. So you guys have to participate. So you can, your names can be placed in here for a... Um, yes, so we have just received a text message. Muhammad from India. Now, Muhammad from India says, I agree uh, to immigration uh, because it is the right, is the, uh, well, it is the right of human in case he, she faces oppression to escape and live peacefully in another country, region, city, etc. Um, thank you, Muhammad uh, from India for joining us tonight. Um, so, Muhammad, his name will also be placed in the draw. Muhammad from India. All right, Muhammad from India, your name is going into the bowl right now. Now, thank you very much, Muhammad from India. Now, uh, as we mentioned before the break and before uh, the water and before the text message, uh, we were mentioning some of the benefits. But at the same time, there are drawbacks um, to immigration. Now, if you want to go through uh, a few of them, Immigration is a social and political issue where racism can rise and tension um, can rise uh, in those situations. When another immigrant comes from a different country, from a different race, from a different nationality, um, when they do immig immigrate to another country, tension will rise especially uh, if the person if the, if the immigrant takes a position or takes a working uh, position within a company within a, a place of work tension might rise in that case now there is another one there is a, a perception that immigrants and refugees appear to get more benefits from the local people themselves so in that case as well, tension and hostilities also rise at the same time. Now, the other drawback is concerns about the illegal immigration. And this actually, um, it, 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 it generalizes over the majority of the I immigrants that came into that country legally. So in that case, still tension might rise uh, and when there is a generalization on that that everyone is immigrating illegally um, then you're just taking away the right of the people who actually migrated uh, and who are um, abiding citizens uh, law abiding citizens and who are actually contributing to the economy now another drawback and this is we, we, we saw this um, earlier on this year and still going on up to today um, where immigrants are dying earlier on when I mentioned making actually difficult and risky decisions to migrate, this is what I'm talking about. 
we see people from Africa migrating to Europe um, in, in boats and not a lot of them reach um, their destination. They die in water and this is very dangerous also because it reaches the headlines uh, and making a huge um, voice out there and making a, you know, it's a, a, went very viral uh, when the Africans died um, and on, on the boats. Espe even even the, the, the Arabs, when they also migrated um, to, to Finland, and from Finland they went to Sweden, Denmark and the UK, um, th a lot of people also died in the water trying to reach their destination. So that also is difficult uh, and it makes the government hate migration. But anyways, let's go see what the public has to say about tonight's uh, topic and we'll back very short, so do stay tuned. What do you think of immigration? Well, I live in London, growing up as, you know, my family are immigrants as well, so it's, it's great, it earns the money, earns the country money and yeah. What, what do you think of immigration? Uh, in here or... Anyway, in general, what's your thoughts? What do you think uh, I don't... I mean... Is that... I just feel that there shouldn't be immigration at all, like... There shouldn't be, should be frontiers, yeah. Uh -huh. Like borders, I don't... Uh -huh. uh, I think everybody should be free to go whatever they want to. What do you think of immigration? They should be not loud in the country, but like... Because they take all our jobs. Okay. What do you think of immigration? Immigration? In what sense? Immigration, um, economically, it helps um, countries thrive. Um, at the same time, it ha in society, it helps people understand each other. Um, but I believe immigration is needed wherever, because we live in one uh, beautiful planet and everyone needs to mix and blend. What do you think of immigration? Um, in terms of what? Immigration, if people that are coming in have the skills that the country needs, yes. But not just pouring in to take over the place with different aims. People coming to live on benefits, coming, not contributing anything. My idea of immigration is that anyone coming here should be able to pr contribute to the system by your skills or by business establishment. Not just coming here because there's uh, free stuff to take. I'm against mass immigration. If the people coming in are not adding value to the system, it's not fair on people that work. We do thank uh, those who has joined us, uh, who have joined us from uh, London, UK, and letting us know their opinions. Some are are with. And some are against, but uh, one point to mention also was a good point mentioned in there um, is the immigrants that do come in, it, it should be regulated to, to, to some extent, um, according to them, because um, that just opens, um, that just makes people, you know, uh, even terrorists allowed to come into that country, which we'll get to talk about later on. Uh, but we, uh, Facebook comment from Farhad Azizi, he says, Salam. Uh, what do you think of a Muslim who is born and brought up in a non-Muslim country demonstrates the influence of the environment very clearly in, this, in his thoughts, ideas, behavior, values, and adequate unless his Lord helps him? So he's asking us a question. Um, we'll get to answer that, inshallah, later on in the show or another episode, inshallah. Uh, but if you can let us know uh, what you think about tonight's question. Um, all right. Now, um, we'll continue. Uh, there's actually a, a, a very nice survey that was conducted uh, by ITV um, earlier on, uh, several years ago. Um, but before that, we just got a text message from... Uh, so, oh, from Sister Khadija. Oh, mashallah, she, she, she's been... Uh, Tuning in every day with hashtag anything. Thank you very much. Now she says, Salaamu Alaikum. It helps with the country's economic economy growth. Uh, from Tanzania, thank you very much, Khadija, for joining us tonight and letting us know what you think uh, about tonight's question. Shout out to her uh, and shout out to everyone who is joining us tonight. Now, um, as I was saying, there's a, a, a survey conducted by ITV uh, in, in the UK several years ago, uh, and it's very interesting. Uh, at the same time, we'll get to talk about that very interesting observation. Now, they say that 
73% of the people thought that too many immigrants were allowed into the UK and just 3% believed that not enough were allowed into the country. Wow, okay. They also say that 75% believe immigrants put a strain on public services. Um, that's, that's interesting. Wow, well, okay. Um, a, another one is that 39% of people believe immigrants bring disease to the UK. Um, wow, well, okay. Um, if, if they do, then they should be checked out before they're brought into the UK. But uh, another point that was mentioned in the survey uh, is that 25% felt like immigrants make Britain a thriving multicultural society, uh, which is it's, it's, it's a good point, valid point. But um, so we can see that through here, most of the people that were surveyed uh, from that recipient country don't support immigration because of some of the actions that were done in that country. But at the same time, you shouldn't blame the immigrants, just, just blame individuals. Uh, but let's go and check out uh, what Sheikh Osama al attar our expert uh, for tonight, what he has to say about tonight's question to him. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين Dear brothers and sisters, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته When can one immigrate or migrate? Well, there are many reasons. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he discusses the story of Prophet Ibrahim عليه السلام and what he faced of the problems among his community, he then migrated, muhajirun ila rabbi. I am migrating to my Lord. So when he found that there is no more room for him to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala freely or to invite people to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala freely, he migrated. And along with him migrated Prophet Lut ala nabiyyina wa alihi wa alihi salam. The same reasons drove our Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam to migrate from Mecca to Medina as the area of Mecca and the people of Quraysh were no longer supportive of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa and inviting to his message. So that's a very important reason for one to migrate where one cannot practice religious freedom. Also political freedom. Sometimes people migrate because of political harassment that's an issue that can also drive people out of their countries and be a reason for their migration. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, فَالَّذِينَ هَاجَرُوا وَأُخْرِجُوا مِنْ دِيَارِهِمْ وَأُوذُوا فِي سَبِيلِ وَقَاتَلُوا وَقُتِلُوا Those who migrate and have been driven out of their homes and have been bothered or harassed, udu for my path, and so on and so forth. So that's another reason, political reason. Third reason for migration is education. The Prophet ﷺ says, seek knowledge even if it were in China. So one can migrate for the reason of knowledge. These are among the reasons of migration, but one important aspect that Ahlul Bayt ﷺ indicate is when you migrate, you must take a look and look after your religion and the religion of your children. Otherwise, if one is afraid of losing his religion or his religion becomes in jeopardy because of this travel, that travel may be considered haram and may be considered banned. And the same thing about losing one's religious identity when traveling or children's religious identity. If the children lose their religious identity, and that is what is known as a ta'arrub ba'd al hijra uh, which is losing the religious identity after the migration, where a person just loses his religion, God forbid, or his children lose their religion, and that is considered one of the major sins, which is at ta'arrub ba'd al hijra. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring peace to the whole world, such that the whole world gets united as one country, as they say, a global village. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hasten the reappearance of our Imam Ajalallah ta'ala Farajahu Sharif such that we can witness the day when he fills this earth with justice, the way it is being filled with tyranny and oppression. Especially, we pray to Allah to answer our call on these holy days and holy nights of the month of Ramadan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Uh, 
Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Sheikh, for joining us tonight. Uh, Sheikh Osama Al Attar, thank you very much once again. Now, um, as you mentioned, a lot of points, the the, the benefits and uh, the backdrops, or the, the, the yeah of um, immigration. We also have to mention the Islamic perspective, the Islamic uh, Islam's point of view. Now, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions in uh, chapter four, verse ninety-seven. He mentions that when the angels um, took uh, the people's lives. So when people died, the angels asked them, um, why were you, while wronging themselves, those people, um, in what condition were you in? Now these people answered, um, we were oppressed in the lands. The angels said to them, was not, uh, was not the earth of Allah spacious enough for you to immigrate to them? So in there, the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which are commanded by Allah to say what they say are asking the people if you're oppressed in your country why not migrate why not go find another country that, are, that is suitable for you of course as uh, mentioned by uh, Sheikh Osama al attar another um, another narration by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa, alayhi wa sallam, where he says seek knowledge even in China even if, if the knowledge is in China go seek it uh, as we can see um, China is right now one of the the thriving countries in the world. Now, tonight we're trying to say that Islam does encourage uh, migration, immigration. So, if you do feel oppressed, if you feel like there's a there, there's an opportunity for you in another country, do migrate and uh, you know fi find the proper solution. Uh, but thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight. This is Ahmed Ali coming to you live from the city of Karbala. Hashtag guarantee the late night talk. Thanks to the crew. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.